All right, guys, let's take a look at crypto today, as usual. You know, Bitcoin's pretty much wake, making its way right back up to all time high. Really kind of incredible how fast we pumped back. Two days ago, we pumped nine, we dumped $9,000. And now we're essentially back where we left off. I mean, if this isn't the bull market, I don't know what is. Overall, we're seeing altcoins going crazy. Solana's even up 12%, XRP up. Cardano right back up. I mean, back up almost to 75 cents on Cardano. Dogecoin still hanging out at 15 cents. Shiba down eight. I'm thinking about buying some Shiba today since I missed out on my Cardano, on the Cardano dump because of Coinbase. I'm still pissed off about it a couple days ago. I saw Theta, Theta, Theta is right back up to $3. I mean, guys, if you can't see how, how much confidence is in theta right now like because i actually kind of thought like once theta pumped above 253 dollars we'd probably go back down to a dollar 50 but yeah we got that big old juicy dump of nine thousand dollars and let's be honest theta dropped 50 cents and it came back up within a day I mean, we we're at 285 yesterday so like i said theta is going to be a top gainer i'm extremely excited about it overall your meme coin still looking good um, meme coins are going crazy. So what are we going to talk about first? Well, here's an article. Bitcoin price needs a 5% dip <laughs> to liquidate 2 billion worth of longs. So this makes me think, I guess the big question right now is, and I can't answer this question, but I guess this question is on everybody's mind. Is Bitcoin going to hit all time high again and get a major rejection? Maybe a $5,000 uh, dump, maybe another $8,000 dump. That's the question on everybody's mind. That's the question on my mind. And I kind of hope we do because I missed out because like I said, the Coinbase screwed me over. There's a lot of longs right now. And overall, it's healthy when you see Bitcoin or a crypto get rejected a few times and then kind of blow past. So I'd kind of like to see that. It doesn't have to be a $9,000 rejection, maybe a $4,000 rejection, something something like that, even a $2,000 rejection. We just need to kind of level off a little bit, I think. But yeah, there's always that possibility. We just blow past all-time highs. Because Bitcoin right now, I mean, it's right near all-time highs. What are we, 1,000 below? Yeah, we're $1,000 below all-time highs, which we could pump $1,000 in 10 minutes in this market. So things are absolutely looking incredible. Here's an article. Is Tesla buying Bitcoin again? Bitcoin wallet data sparks curiosity. Some users speculated that Tesla might be buying Bitcoin and could reveal it during its next earnings call, while others believe it could be an accounting error. I mean, you'd think Elon Musk is smart and he wouldn't buy Bitcoin at like, you know, approaching all-time highs, but you never know. Maybe he sees a $200,000 Bitcoin and he's going to start buying back in. I can tell you right now, if it does get revealed that Bitcoin is buying, uh, or excuse me, that Tesla is buying Bitcoin, I remember back in 2020 this happened and Bitcoin pumped like $5,000 in 10 minutes. I'll never forget it. Like it, it now, I'm not saying, you know, we're going to pump like $100,000 or anything like that, but an announcement like that, we could probably see a 20, 30% pump instantaneously. So we'll be looking for that. Although it is kind of odd that, you know, he'd be buying it like all time highs. Here's an article, Bitcoin rally far from over per Glassnode co-founders. Shiba leads teases Shiba army with update. Charles Hoskinson dispels rumor of leaving Cardano. After revisiting the all-time high of 69,000, Bitcoin succumbed to its nature and dropped to the lows of 62. However, the king crypto has managed to recover from the fall and bounce back to $67,000. We're almost at 68 right now. So Shiba Inu is something I'm looking to buy right now. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I always miss out on it. A friend of mine bought a bunch last run. I think Shiba Inu, along with the other meme coins, are of course going to go crazy. And I think Shiba Inu has a lot more room to go. So I think I might be picking some up very, very soon. Shiba Inu led, I hate pronouncing these names, Satoshi Kusami has recently been a very local about the updates his, pro his project's ecosystem is potentially facing. One of them is a projection that Shiba Inu's validation could reach $100 billion in the long term, which followed after Shiba's market cap surpassed 13 billion. 
the surge in market value helped SHIB enter the top 10 largest cryptocurrencies, pushing Avalanche down to 11th place. Additionally, earlier this week, Kusami announced the launch of SHIB's name service in partnership with D3, another most recent update from SHIB dated on March 6th. So I, I think SHIB is actually, um, I think it's pumped like, 200% over the last 30 days. So I hate to buy something that's already pumped so much, but I think it has a lot more room to go. We covered this yesterday. Charles Hoskinson will not be leaving IOHK. During a recent discussion on X platform, Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson addressed a concerned user asking whether it's true that he is leaving Cardano for another project or shifting to a multi-chain approach. The founder displayed rumors, dispelled rumors of his departure with a firm and direct no, stating that the hundreds of IOG engineers and scientists working on Cardano every day can confirm that he is not leaving. So that's good news. A lot of people were talking about that over the last couple of days. You know, I don't listen to this guy, Alex Becker, very often, but he said something like, you know, he says it way better than me, just talking about how most people are gonna lose all their money in this market and how you have to know when to get out and how you have to know not to listen to a lot of these influencers who are selling you a course, which I've been talking about for the last couple of years, but it's kind of funny. He does it funnier. Um, here's a little bit of Alex Becker, which I thought was fun. You're not some decade old trader. You weren't making money in the bear. You're a fool who's caught a bull run. <laughs> so how do we trade if we're that type of person? If we're talentless fools who got lucky in a bull run. This is how you do it. So the first part is going to be mental management. And the number one thing you need to take away, if I could give you any advice in this video, is this. You're not a trader. You're not good at this. There's nothing you've done that remotely resembles talent. There's nothing I've done that remotely resembles talent except focusing on the gaming niche for two to three years. And when Bitcoin started to go back up, I just went all in the gaming niche. And I just took a big old risk with a few percent of my net worth, which is sizable. I'm way up right now. It's pretty juicy. But that's it. That's what I did. And what you're going to try and do if this is your first or second run primarily if it's your first run, you're going to think, oh man, there's going to be some TA signs. There's going to be some influencer. I'm going to be able to piece all these things together and get a picture of what the market's going to do. No, no, you're not. All these influencers, they're drunk. Most of them have been here for three cycles and they're still not rich. What does that tell you about them? Does it seem like they're good at this? A lot of them fumbled tens of millions of dollars last morning. No, there's no influencer or TA guy on Twitter who's going to help you. See this through. Most of the people doing TA and all this stuff, they're selling you a course or some membership or whatever. They're doing it to get you in so you think that there's some God and then they're going to pitch you all this stuff and make tons of money off of you and walk away rich regardless of your performance or results in the bull run. No one can call this. You're not going to, by all means. And if there is people who can, it is certainly not you, sir. <laughs> so the first thing you got to do is don't be sitting here trying to trade in and out in coins. Don't be trying to play the dips. Don't be thinking you, you, have suddenly discovered some raw talent that you didn't know about that allows you to have some instinct in the market. You don't, you don't. So what does this mean? It means buy your coins and sit in them. Just sit. Don't long-term hodl. There is a plan to sell. We're not holding any of these to the moon. Anyway, and this kind of goes back to what I've been saying over the last year, all the mistakes I've made in crypto. God, the buying and selling I did last run. In and out, in and out. Like what the hell was I doing? You know, going for my morning runs with my with my app open, I'm running and I'm holding the app. I'm having a nervous breakdown, selling out of stuff. Then by the time I'm done, the coin went up 20%. I'm buying back in. I'm trying to time everything. I'm trying to time the tops. I'm trying to time the end of the bull market. And eventually I had an epiphany. I had an epiphany. And I just said, I smacked myself in the face. And I stopped. And I said, I'm getting the fuck out of this market. We, we've pumped a lot. Cardano went from two cents to $2 is when I sold. Theta is up to eight, $9. Bought in at 20 cents. I'm out of this motherfucker. And that's the way you have to do it. And it kept going up from there. And it was stressful. And people were calling me stupid. My friends who were in meme coins, my friends who were in Shiba were telling me I'm crazy for getting out. In the end, they didn't make a dime. They held it all back to zero. I paid off a house. It, you know, it, it worked out for me, but I could have done a lot better. And that's what I plan on doing this market. The money I made last bull market was enough to pay off a house. The money I plan on making this market is enough to hopefully I don't have to work that much ever again. It's a big difference. 
So yeah, listen to Alex Becker. He does it. This is a good video he made, 34 minutes, just basically trying to talk some sense into people. You're not going to trade in and out of this shit. We're in a good spot right now. Come summer, come end of the summer, looking to getting out, depending on how things are going. But eventually we're going to get a dump and things aren't going to come back. Just like last time, everybody thought that double top. Everybody thought we we're going to have a triple top and go up to $100,000. It didn't happen. We went down to 15, everything collapsed and a lot of people committed suicide. I've talked about this. So don't try to really time it. it is, uh, or at least don't try to time your trades. Meme coins like Dogecoin and Pepe are rallying again. Here's what it means for the crypto market. Well, what it means is, so when you see the meme coins rallying, we always say that can represent a top. It represents uh, frothiness, but it also represents that people have a lot of faith in the market. When people have taken the time to invest in dirty, shitty meme coins that were created in some jackass's basement in India, you know, that means people have made a lot of money in Bitcoin and they're taking it and they're putting money in meme coins. It's overall healthy for the market. When people are scared, they don't invest in meme coins. That's why meme coins are the last to pump and the first to dump, okay? Because once that euphoria gets sucked out of the market, which it will, when we're, when we're coming to the end of this bull market, it will, the first thing that's gonna dump is the meme coins. And then it's going to trickle down. Okay, then the AI coins are going to dump. Then the gaming coins. Then you're going to see like your light coins, your Cardanos, your, your higher cap alt coins. Then they're going to start to dump because people are like, oh my God, these coins aren't even safe. And then they're going to sell out of those coins in the Bitcoin. And then people are going to lose faith in, faith in Bitcoin. And that's when you know the overall bull market is over. And if you fucked up and you didn't make any money, and you didn't sell at the right time, you got to wait another four years, right? You got to go through another three years of misery, pain, suffering, every day thinking to yourself, why didn't I sell? Why didn't I get out of these markets? I was up, I had $100,000. I could have bought myself a car and paid off my house, but I didn't do it because I thought everything was going to keep pumping. So you don't want to be like that. You want to get out at the right time as in, getting to the top of the market. I'd say we're going to try to get out 70%, 75, 80% to the top of the market. There will be another 20% of pumpage where things go crazy and I'll be completely out of the market. Maybe I'll have a couple thousand dollars in to play with. Maybe, you know, like, okay, well, we're still pumping. Maybe we have another few months. Maybe I'll dump a thousand dollars into this new meme coin. And I'll make some crypto videos on it. But the, but the majority, 90% of my portfolio is going to be in, in profits taken out. And that's the way you got to do it, guys. Another weird way we can tell right now that the gaming sector and, of course, AI is going to lead the run, which it is. AI has been pumping. Look at NVIDIA stock. NVIDIA is now one of, one of the most, almost up there with Apple, one of the highest cap stocks. NVIDIA, because of AI, because of gaming, because of the chips they make. So if it's still in the back of your mind, like, is it going to be gaming this run? Is it going to be AI? Well, of course, you just have to look at the, um, the, <laughs> the chart uh, right here. Top artificial coins, they're all up like 60%, 30%, 100% over the last seven days. Clearly, this is the narrative. So there's still a lot of money to be made. It's still not too late. But, <laughs> you know, maybe by, this, maybe by this time next month, it will be too late, right? Because we're getting pretty close. And if I pull up gaming projects, it's the same exact thing. Although um, AI seems to be doing a little bit better than gaming, but they're all a lot of the gaming projects are also involved with AI. So most of these gaming projects, you'll pretty much see working on AI stuff as well. But yeah, the AI has gone crazy. Meme coins have gone crazy. All right, guys, not too much else. Things are looking great. Bitcoin wants to get back to all time highs. We'll probably be there pretty soon again. I don't know if we're gonna get. We're, I don't know if we're gonna have a dump after we hit all time highs again. Um, probably wouldn't be bad if we do have another dump. Liquidate some longs. You know, get people thinking in their head. Oh my god, that all time high may have been it. That sixty eight thousand. We can't get past it. It's over, Johnny. Bull run over. That's kind of what we need. A little bit of that. You know, most people won't think that, but get like 20, 30 percent of these jackasses playing leverage to think that.
I think that's healthy. So I'd like to see a dump after we get to all-time highs again. Also, give me another chance to buy some coins because now I am set up with a different exchange. I'm set up with Kraken. I also have some funds on Binance.us and I'm also on um, MetaMask. I'm all ready to go in case Coinbase tries to go down again when there's volatility, which they will go down again because they suck. So maybe I'll get another opportunity. But as far as that, even if I don't get another opportunity, I am looking to get into some sheep today. Down 8%, everything else is up. I'm going to pick up a few, I'm probably going to pick up a few thousand dollars worth of sheep. I know it's, you know, I know it's pumped a lot, but I just sold my rental property. I got some extra money and this might be it, guys. Crypto Rand said this on his channel today. As you guys know, every so often he says something I agree with. You're not getting the lows anymore. You know, you're not getting Cardano for 23. You're not getting... You're not getting Doge for six cents again, five cents. You're not getting Litecoin for forty dollars. You're not getting Theta for fifty cents. It's not happening. Those days are over. Kiss them goodbye. The good old days, right? The good old days. No more. Now you have to buy in at these levels. Yeah, we could get a big dump. Bitcoin could drop eight thousand dollars again, and Cardano could go back down to sixty-three cents. Sixty-three is way better than seventy-four. I almost got Cardano at 63 cents, but I couldn't get into Coinbase. I'm not buying it for 74. That, that ship has sailed and I, I can't in good conscience bring myself to buy Cardano. I have tons of Cardano, guys. Don't worry. I'm loaded on Cardano. I've been buying it off for the last two years. But um, a lot of these price levels are still decent. We still have a lot more room to go. So I'll probably pick up a little sheep and then I'll keep a few thousand dollars extra just in case we get a massive, massive dump and then maybe we're going to go from there. But guys, if you're on the sidelines right now, you're pretty much have missed it. I mean, within the next couple of weeks, you've probably missed it. It's time to really start deploying if you have nothing. That's the way I'm seeing it. I mean, really, the Bitcoin halvening is less than a month away. Like, it's absolutely crazy. And once we get to the halvening, we're in spring, then we're in summer. And then it's like, oh, shit. We're coming to the end of this motherfucker. At least in my opinion by end of summer. We're coming to the end. Yeah, it might drag out into like October, November. Maybe it'll drag out into early 2025. That's what some people think. But the people who think this bull market is dragging out into late 2025, mid 2025, I believe they're going to be the ones that lose every fucking penny. Every fucking penny. All right, guys, like and subscribe. I might do a live stream later. We'll see. Because I think we're probably going to be back to 68,000. If we get back to 68,000, maybe I'll do a live stream later. Like and subscribe. I know I have a lot of new people watching my channel out there. Don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.